What is up everybody? In today's video, we're gonna be going over the best all-purpose set for each weapon to go into some break with. Now let's jump right into it. Going into our first set, we have our great sword set that utilizes a rampage cleaver. This option is gonna be weaker compared to the Narga great sword, however, it's gonna be a lot more comfortable, which we're aiming for. We are getting 100% crit when attacking weak spots, which is great. You would be able to get focus level 3 if you have a better talisman than I do, but if you don't, focus level 2 is perfectly fine. And the added bonus is you get to use whichever layered skin you want for the great sword. Next we have our longsword set. It's no secret that the Phantom Mirage is one of, if not the best longsword in the game. This set is great in all scenarios and allows the hunter to be really comfortable. Now this set can be slightly improved if you happen to have a better talisman. If you do, you would be able to switch around some pieces to increase the attack boost or critical eye to get you closer to the 100% crit mark when attacking weak spots, or you can add one more level of protective polish. Overall, this is one of the best sets you can have in the game. Next we have our sword and shield set. In this set, we're opting for the Queen Rapier over the Tig Rex sword to allow us to be more flexible in our play style. The Tig Rex sword does hit harder but limits you to a certain play style while worrying about sharpness management. This set grants you 100% crit when attacking weak spots, max out attack boost, and you're able to poison the monster for extra damage. You would be able to max out critical boost if you have a better talisman, but if you have a talisman similar to mine, it's not a bad trade off to get two levels of slugger. This set is great all around and allows you to be very versatile in your play style. Next we have our dual blade set. This set utilizes a dual camellius. This is going to be your best option if you had to make one dual blade set for all situations. Keeping protective polish active relieves us of maintaining our sharpness levels. We get great damage output with 80% crit when attacking weak spots and we're able to poison the monster. You would be able to get 90% crit if you have a really good critical eye talisman but if not you're perfectly fine. Overall this is a really fun set to use in all situations. Next we have our charge blade set. The goal for this set is to cater to all play styles, whether you like to use spinning axe, counter SAED, or axe hopper. The talisman is also pretty flexible, so you can really use whatever you want depending on the skills you prioritize. Other than that, this set has great damage output, is great for all play styles, and allows for comfortable hunting in all situations. Next we have our Switch X set. This has to be one of my favorite sets to use just because of how godlike this set is. We're getting all of the essential damage boosting skills. We don't have to worry about sharpness management because of Master's Touch. And I'm lucky enough to have this godlike talisman which allows me to be almost untouchable. If you don't have this talisman, no need to worry. All you really need is a weakness exploit talisman with a level two slot and you're good. Overall, this is one of the best sets to have in the game and is great for all purposes. Next, we have our hammer set. In this set, we are utilizing the Tigrex hammer. The set is great for consistently dealing massive damage. Unfortunately, I don't have a great weakness exploit talisman, so instead I'm using my attack boost talisman, which also gives me two levels of slugger, which is perfect for this set. If you do happen to have a good weakness exploit talisman, you'll be able to bump up the critical percentage by maxing out critical eye. All in all, this is a great hammer set to have in the collection. Next we have our Hunting Horn set. This is another great set to have for all purposes. Unfortunately, my set suffers because I don't have a good weakness exploit talisman. Therefore, I had to opt for my attack boost talisman. If you do happen to have a level two weakness exploit talisman with the level two slot, you would be able to squeeze in Master's Touch, which would make this set a lot better and more comfortable. You can also switch the healing melody to attack melody to be more offense orientated. Overall, this set hits hard and is great in all scenarios. Next we have our Gunlance build. In this set we are going to be utilizing the Rampage Gunlance. The focus of this set is to activate Protective Polish to maintain the sliver of white sharpness that we get from one level of Handicraft. We're at 65% Affinity when attacking weak spots and critical boosts will improve our critical hit damage. We're getting the essential gunland skills with artillery and load shells. Although I missed out on level 3 protective polish because of my talisman options, I was lucky enough to fit in two levels of evade extender and evade window which is a great alternative. Overall this is one of the best sets you can make for a burst fire playstyle. Next we have our lance build. This is a pretty straightforward set as we get the essential damage boosting skills. We are also getting level 3 offensive guard which is perfect for the lance playstyle. The talisman is pretty flexible as you only need a talisman with a level 3 and level 2 slot.
overall a really great option for Lance users. Next we have our Inset Glaive set. This is another straightforward build that utilizes the Red Knot Shuma. Because we're maxing out all of the essential damage boosting skills and we have a large amount of white sharpness, this is a solid option for comfort hunting, even for monsters that aren't necessarily weak to the dragon element. This is a great set to have if you're interested in using the Inset Glaive. Now for the next couple sets using the bow, light bow gun, and heavy bow gun, it really comes down to preference since the purpose of this video is to showcase sets you can use for all purposes, so use whatever is comfortable for you. For this bow set, we are using the rampage bow with the piercing setup. With this set, I am prioritizing stamina management skills such as constitution and stamina search, and for damage, weakness exploit and pure setup are going to help improve damage output. Overall, this is a really solid bow setup to have for all scenarios. Next we have our heavy bow gun set. Personally, when it comes to bow guns, I lean towards the pierce ammo as I find it very satisfying to use and it's slightly more fun compared to a sticky ammo setup, even though a sticky ammo setup may be the better way to go. However, for this set, we are utilizing the Deora Grande, which is probably the best pierce heavy bow gun. This set has great damage output and we're usually at 100% crit as long as we're constantly hitting the monster thanks to the rampage skill this heavy bow gun has. I'm also benefiting from a great talisman that gives me evasion skills and improve my survivability. Overall, this is a great heavy bow gun set to have in the collection. Finally, we have our light bow gun set. This is probably the most used set you've seen since Rise has been released, but it's for good reason. This is a pierce ammo setup that is incredibly easy to use and is great for comfortable hunting. This set could be even better if I had a good critical eye talisman, but since I don't, I opted for an evade extender talisman to help with survivability. Overall, this is one of the best sets you can have in the game and is great for any situation. And that is going to conclude this video guys, thank you for watching, if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments. I am really excited for the upcoming expansion, I will be making videos so stay tuned, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with my content, take care guys.